Hello everyone, the Bearded Thumb here. How are you all doing today? So, as I try to regain my confidence after the last uh, video of my series where I did the final level of the main campaign, I've been playing Expeditions as I try to get to level t Apocalypse Tier 21, and then I will be doing the uh, World Slayer expansion playthrough, and saw this as a chance to make some unique content on... Uh, the last character, or the one character we fought, that Moloch, uh, I forgot what part it was, maybe it was four or five where you fight him. Alright, so yeah, like I was saying, I just want to let him finish his little spiel there. Uh, yeah, this is... If you were wondering whatever happened to Moloch, since clearly we didn't kill him after that fight, uh, this gives you a chance to see what, uh, what goes on with him. So, uh, enjoy as I traverse through this. I'm on fire, and I still dance! Oh, fuck, that didn't last long. Where you go, you little son of a bitch. Oh! Well, you're not the one I was looking for, but I'll take it. Try to pick up as much ammo as I can. Because I don't think I'm near an ammo crate. Oh, crap. Didn't plan that out very well. Where the hell? Oh, there it is. So 
essentially spawn kill their asses. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that guy can move. I got this fucking sniping sack of shit. Oh, well, yeah, diving away really helps when you dive back into a corner. How nice of you to actually help, as you'll see. These guys start climbing over the walls, and... Bye-bye. Full blown mosh pit on this. Oh shit. Usually I take out the captains as quickly as possible, because they're the ones who could do the most damage if left unchecked, and then almost like taking out elites in Halo. Once you take them out, everyone else falls pretty easily. Or you could be a little more spongy towards their damage than... You can sponge, uh, captain's damage.
And now, what the moment we've all been waiting for. This bald douchebag makes his return. But two captains in tow. I personally feel he goes down a lot easier uh, in this mission than... Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Almost spoke a little too soon there, but it wasn't letting me activate any of my abilities. I like how he uses fire, but yet somehow I'm getting frozen. Yeah, he's not nearly as spongy as he is the first time you fight him. And down he goes. Now it's time to find the other Ultra who's hitting me. This... Oh, here we go. It's a juggernaut. That was the asshole who was freezing me. And from here it's all downhill because it's just basic bitches from here on out. That's my cue to exit. That freak I fought last time, the one who nearly buried me alive. Am I gonna have to dig you out of the rubble again? Not this time. He's sung his last, and the pod's ours. <laughs> Great. Then. Out of curiosity, can you explain to me why that pod didn't land with the rest of them? Maybe it got stuck in the tube. Or maybe it just wanted to fuck with us. <laughs> All the same. Hell of a job, Outrider. Hell of a job. And with that, that'll bring us to the end of this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook. Links to the Facebook pages in the description down below. And if you do not like this video, however, and feel no sure to be subject to watching this crap ever again, thumbs down, negative comment, and until next time when I start the Outriders World Slayer expansion, this has been the Bearded Thumb. Have a good one.